Hello guys, how are you all doing? Hope everything is well. Today we're going to have a behind the scenes look of how I go about making um, Call of Duty commentaries and um, any other sort of gameplay video that I've posted on my channel up so far. So um, let's have a look. So I have my PlayStation, my TV and my Mac set up here. And um, basically whenever I want to record a gameplay I have to switch um, the game out of HD, which is what I preferably play into, and switch it into a component cable, which is wired into a capture card into the back of my PlayStation, um, into the back of my Mac, sorry. So um, this means that I get a massive quality disadvantage, and usually when I'm playing, um, the sound quality is delayed, so I can't really... If I want to do a live video commentary, it's, I really suffer from it, so... Um, it's one of the reasons I love Black Ops, because theatre mode is just really great. It enables me to play a game in HD, record it, switch my PlayStation off, come back to it, put it back into standard definition and record it over to my Mac. But um, for the ba Battlefield commentary, I did something a little bit different. I um, just recorded it straight out onto um, my Mac and wired my PX21's into my um, Mac so the visuals was coming from my TV the audio was coming from my Mac so I couldn't hear anything that was being played whilst that whilst that was happening and um, you know I played for about half an hour and I take the um, raw files which you can see here and um, from there I condense it down into the six or seven minutes that you see there just try trying to find the best moments in that and um, you know, uh, just generally having a laugh and all the best bits. Now, um, one of the other issues is that games like this run on 60 frames a second. So, you know, there's there's one of these interlacing issues, which you can see, like, a lot where I'm running around in circles. And, you know, you can see that there's all these sort of lines going across the screen. Sometimes if you look at my videos and you notice that, um, it's just due to the interlacing that, 60 frames a second has going through my capture device and into the back of my TV. You know, it's just one of those things I have to live with doing it this way. Um, however, there is a way to get around it where I place a deinterlacing filter over every individual clip that you can see here. And um, it just means a long time re rendering, and you know, it's just one of those things that I just sort of have to live with when I try and do. Um, like the best videos quality available to me. Um, sometimes I will admit I do leave out that process just for the sake of time if I want to get a video out, but most of the time I do like to, you know, try and make it as professional and sort of as decent looking as I can. You know, sometimes even with Call of Duty videos, because it's such a grey colour palette, I will actually go back and colour grade it as well, just to make it a bit more vibrant and that um I do that a lot with my montages and sort of a lot of videos like that but um yeah that's one of the things that i have to do and then obviously from here i export it out and um, then just upload it directly onto youtube so um that is sort of the main process of how i go from gameplay capturing to editing to videos on the internet and um obviously i keep a lot of stuff sort of down here like this this whole sequence here is the main sequence for the opening of Full Mag, and um, you can see it's all very, very intricate here. I've got a lot of sort of ins and outs here, and um, I've got also some other stuff which is just on the sort of pipelines. This is a lot of my Deus Ex stuff, which you guys have obviously already seen, and obviously once again the opening to um, Challenge City which um, we'll be back again soon. I'm going to try and get an episode out as soon as possible. And um, yeah, I just like keeping these things on generic standby. And um, this is something else I'm working on. You guys um, haven't really seen anything of that yet, but um, hopefully you'll see it in the future. So this is a run. That's how I make videos. And um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And um, I look forward to making new content. And um, yeah, I will speak to you soon. Goodbye.